Guess what day it is? We got our Universal Yums box. And this month is... That's your cue, honey. Czechia. Czechia. And what I used to know as Czechoslovakia or the Czech Republic, <laughs> but I guess it's all different now. No, it's called Czechia. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited about this because I saw on Facebook an advertisement and they and I saw these like onion rings, like a generic Funyun looking thing, and those are my favorite she loves kind funions. of snacks. Me not so. so much, but she does. Oh, they're right on top. Look at those. Oh, I'm so excited to try them. Yes, right on top. <clears throat> All right, let's dig in. You want to pick the first thing? Well, sure. As always, they come with stickers and other little fun things, a nice booklet. I see something. Oh, he's going to pick it. Ghost snack. Look at I these. <laughs> Perfect timing here oh in the fall. Oh, my goodness. Two great things right on top. What's it <clears throat> Let's see what the ghost snack says. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh no, ketchup lovers will positively scream. Ketchup ghost potato puffs. <laughs> I wanted that to be really good. I'm more of a mustard guy myself, but ketchup's okay. Ketchup flavor is big in a lot of countries. I think Canada is a really big ketchup flavor. Oh really? Mm -hmm. But they're very cute. I mean, you can't go wrong with the cuteness. Like a little bat. Oh, look who we got here. <laughs> Sorry about that. We got our little friendly cat here. Got a nice little tang to it. Mm. Kind of a crunch, but not. There's nothing wrong with that. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, like that. I like that. To me, <clears throat> it almost tastes like a. Tomato pasty, tomato yeah. sauce. Like yeah. I wouldn't say ketchup. I really like that. And is it potato? Because it tastes potato. It's light and crispy, <clears throat> airy. Kind of a nice little crunch to me. Without being like harsh or hard, you know. Like um, a kettle chip. It's yeah. not like that. Speaking of chips, I'm going to choose these next. Jalapeno bacon poppers. Wow. Hobbs boy or something. Potato chips. Hmm, that could be interesting. See, they're gonna surprise us again like the ketchup ones. Crispy pan fried bacon in a Czech chip. All right. Czech, like Czech. Yeah. A Czech chip. <laughs> a Czech chip. <clears throat> bacon jalapeno. Okay. So far, these have been at least fun. Ooh. They do have a smell to me like kettle chips, which I like kettle chips. You're not as big a fan of. They're not as crunchy. Mm -mm. Mm. I don't really taste bacon. I'm getting like a cheesy kind mm -hmm. of wang to them. Mm -hmm. Almost like a really sharp cheese. Kind of weird. Yeah, not super bacony, but they're good. Maybe a hint of spice at the end, though. Like hot. Mm. Those aren't bad. Mm, not bad at all. I want to save these two for a last. Okay. Here you go, Minnie. You hold those. Oh. <coughs> Strazniki? Ramberki? <laughs> Gar garlic potato chips. Do you think I said that right? <laughs> That was one of the favorite parts when we used to do this back in the day, before we were on YouTube, was listening to her pronounce different things from around just, the world. You just try to say it with confidence and... Real fast and I mean, yeah. confident. <laughs> oh, they smell very, very garlicky. Oh, for sure. Mm. I'm going to like that. That's a hit. Hey, you want to say hi to the... <laughs> Hi to the fans out here. That's this, Winnie. This is Winnie, our little Devon Rex kitty. She's full of mischief and mayhem. Inspired by Czech wild garlic. Now, if I hold one up close to you, you'll see the other one because she's been sitting right by the camera. You want to smell that? <laughs> no. Yeah, 
I like those. So far, everything has been a hit. I actually like those ketchup ghost snacks. And a lot of savory this month. Last month was a lot of sweet, it seemed mm. like. Remember? Every time I look in this box, I get excited because I'm like, what is that? Like colorful stuff in here. Um, Vinia. What are you laughing about? <laughs> like you said, like you're so excited and I bet you and Nicola, you have no idea what it is. Look, just look how colorful. I mean, how you are not going to get excited about that. Okay, white grape soda. Soda inspired by wine. Okay, she does not like wine. I do wine. not like wine. I don't mind it. <clears throat> I could use a drink though. You can try it first and tell me if it actually tastes like wine. It smells really good. Vinia, white grape soda. A little bit like wine, but not strong at all. I'll be the judge of that. Like yeah. sour grapes, a little bit. Not very sweet. No. Sour would be the... I, yeah. I might regret showing you guys this, but look at this. There's an adorable cat who's just sitting here, <laughs> sitting on the box. She's ready for all those snacks. <laughs> part of the fun is all. She's waiting for a mackerel flavored one. Okay, you want me to keep picking? Yeah, please. Oh, this looks good. Oatmeal coconut cookies. Yeah, that sounds good. That looks really good. I, no, I, see, I told you I'd regret it. I missed the camera. Wait, does that say half coated? I can't half see coated? That. <laughs> half coated coconut? I'm not sure what that means. Maybe half coated with a, like a dip of chocolate <laughs> or something? Ha oh, half? Chocolate, half crumbly oats, all yum. That's what okay, it says. All yum, wow. Oh. Okay. So let's split that? No, it's actually little wafers. Oh, okay. We can still split it if you want. Sure, let's just do that. Okay. It's like chocolate on one side, and then I guess this is the oats on the other. I'm not sure where the coconut comes in, but. In the flavor. Very coconutty. Oh. Mm hmm I love coconut. It's like my almost my probably my favorite flavor of things. Almost like that moist coconut mm -hmm. flavor of a mounds bar to me. Yeah, because of the dark chocolate. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. It reminds me of a Girl Scout cookie, you know, in a way. Not of a real one, but like that crunchy oatmeal. Yeah. That's really good. Okay. Something here. <clears throat> I have no idea. Yes key or something? Vest key. Oh, vest With key. With a B. Caraway pretzel bites. Nutty, licorice caraway in every crunch. Caraway is going to be like rye bread a little bit. <clears throat> this is like how I write in real life. Licorice dash Y. <laughs> licorice -y. Right? I just make up my own words. Here's the pretzels and here's the kitty ear. <laughs> huh. They look like just normal pretzels. Pretzel rod, like Little tiny nuggets. pretzels. <clears throat> Sorry. Very much guys. taste that caraway. I think... I think maybe they're ready for our vacation <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> um, that's really caraway. Mm -hmm. It just looks like a regular pretzel and it's like straight caraway. It's not bad. I did like it though. I feel like I would like it with a dip, like a cheese dip. Mm. Okay. There's so many fun things in here. Pedro Happy Face Gummy. Oh. I mean, how is that not fun? We enjoy gummies. Let's get this. Whoa, let's get this little babe out of here. <laughs> get you on the ground. Pedro Happy Face Gummies, though. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't even want to cut his... I don't want to cut his little sombrero off, but I'm just going to cut a corner. Oh. Wow, oh, smell that. Fruity. If you, if you guys don't know us very well, William is legally blind, so stay tuned.
sticking his whole nose in the package. Probably wasn't what he meant to do. But. Very pretty. Oh, here you go. Here you go. They're like, I don't know, little dots. Like dots. I don't want a yellow one, but... Oh. Well, that's got a lot of fruit flavor. It's really, it's really squishy, soft. Very soft. Very, I think it's probably lemon. Very strong. <clears throat> I like it. My mom will love these. Those are good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Very good. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. Uh, mm, no idea. Absolutely no idea. Is it the correct says. pronunciation? <laughs> no. My, my sleep, my sleep, misly, my sleep, nas or navi. Apple crisp oatmeal cookies, as cozy as autumn in Czechia. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> fall, y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> these i wonder if they're like oh yeah they're the same brand as those chocolate coconut oatmeal oh, ones okay. emco so maybe we'll split this again you're not sure oh it's real crumbly what did i say it was called apple crisp oatmeal cookies you can really smell the apple mm -hmm. they're like a super dry Crumbly oatmeal cookie. Like in my brain, I'm thinking that would be pretty good with some coffee. Mm hmm Really dry. <clears throat> hmm. All right. This box has been so fun. Like, everything is super colorful. Like, William laughs at me, but I'm, like, shiny. Like, I like things that are cute and shiny and fun. And Be sure to check out universalyums.com <clears throat> for yourself. If you enjoy these videos, I think you'd really enjoy trying a box. They have three sizes, a yum, a yum yum, and super yum, something like that. And this is the large, but they're a lot of fun. We really enjoy doing them monthly. Um, this is a gingerbread cake with plum filling and cocoa icing. That's going to be right up my alley, I think. You think? Mm -hmm. How come? What part? I love gingerbread. Oh, but gingerbread <clears throat> plum and cocoa? I like all of those. Okay, the unveiling. Brrr, it's really dark chocolate. Oh, is it one bar? It almost looks, is it cut like a Swiss cake roll or a ho-ho or something? I don't know, That's it's very large. Real dark. Okay, it's a go. lot. Mm, it's just like brown inside. Did you get some plum? I didn't get any plum. I'm going to go down a little farther then. Oh, I see it. <clears throat> it's um, there's nothing bad about it. It's just not that flavorful to me. Yeah, but the chocolate is super duper waxy. Mm -hmm. Like worse than a Swiss cake roll. I can't even. The gingerbread <laughs> is is quite moist though. It's not dry. No. Very waxy chocolate though. Yeah, it's not dry, and that plum, that plum is actually kind of good in there. It's like all sorts in my teeth though. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> Nuts and pistachio. Some kind of feels like a granola bar. Dark chocolate nut bar, chock full of peanuts, almonds, and pistachios. Oh. Hmm. And it has chocolate too. Is, it? is that what I said? Chalk full of dark chocolate nut bar. So, so dark chocolate. Oh yeah, like on the bottom. Oh, it like does, a granola bar. It does totally look like a granola bar. Here, you want to try it first? <clears throat> Peanuts, almonds, and pistachios. That's a lot like um, if you've seen them in America, the kind bars, K I N D. It's a lot like that. They say that it's a dessert, though. Mm. Mm. Very nutty. It reminds me of something, but I can't think of if it. If you have a nut allergy, you don't want that one. Or really any of these boxes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh, so many neat things left. Okay, here we go with Pedro again. 
Kaisel, Pesky, Subprochuti, Pomegranates, Sour Orange Flavor Belts. <laughs> if you're from that part Don't of the world. Don't listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She's not mocking it. <laughs> She's literally trying. Basically mocking myself. Let's see if there's anything special. I'm Are these gummy in form? Or? Sour Orange Gummy Belts. Sweet, sour, and extra chewy. One thing William does not like is sour. That's probably my least of the fl flavors. Good girl. That's a little tough for me. Is it sour? Yeah, quite sour. Mm. Mm. It tastes like a real thick fruit roll up to me. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the artificial nice sugar flavors or colors. What are the flavors? Orange? Mm-hmm. Ooh. It's funny because like here in America you have like a sour patch kid. It's sour and then sweet. That was sweet and then sour at yeah. the end. Weird. Agreed. <clears throat> very interesting. Okay. I think we're gonna have a another one very like this. Apple and cinnamon soft candy sticks. Hmm. They're it... super cute. Like I love all this packaging. I really love it. Every time I look down in this box, it's like, oh, that's so cute. It's really fun. Warm check streusel. No, strudel like never before. Chewy. A chewy strudel. Okay. Let me still find out. Okay, I'm going to pull these out. Like, they're like little straws. Oh, yeah. But they're filled with stuff. Let's put that. Really apple. I really like the flavor. The texture is a little odd. A little bit like licorice, I thought. Yeah. Like a the little like a tougher licorice. Bite back that licorice mm -hmm. gives you. I really like that. It's like it really is apple strudel. Like it's not apple overwhelmingly apple. It's kind of just a nice pleasant apple. Mm hmm I really like that. Hmm. We love your feedback if you are watching tonight and comment below what you think you might enjoy. We'd love okay. to hear from you. I'm thinking we're not making this right now. Let's take a look. It looks like soup. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. There's a bonus. I think it's, oh, a uh, bonus? Czech mm -hmm. potato soup mix. Hmm. Stay tuned. I'll probably make a short out of it. It should be interesting. It's so it's such a little packet. And if you like soup, stay tuned because she's going to be doing several soups for the fall and she's already started so keep an eye out on our channel for we those. We just had one for supper. Yeah. Okay. Um, this looks like a hard candy and I'm going to save that for last. So let's do what I think is going to be my favorite because I just love I love any kind of Funyuns or generic Funyuns. What's funny about her, our gas station here in town has a quick trip. They're not with a Q, with a K up here. They have these cheap, generic Funyuns, and she just thinks they're the best. Yeah, they are. More than, better than Funyuns. But I'll tell you, they have Cheetos that are generic, that are better than Cheetos. So it, it's crazy. So these are roasted onion potato rings, a secret mix of Czech spices in every ring. Called Karuski. Yeah. They have that Funyun taste mm. without that powdery Funyun feel. No, yeah. a little bit like styrofoam. Yeah, the texture is way different. Not that uh, gritty or, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. how Funyun can be. Not like cornmeal. Yeah. I approve. <laughs> I think they're good. They are good. They'd be great sprinkled on a salad, I think. Mm. I really like them, and I thought I would. <laughs> they are good. Okay. Now I'll go to the super fun packaging one. The Yes Duo Mix. Fruit flavored soft candy. <clears throat> so they do a lot of soft candy here. It looks like oh, soft candy. Sour gummies. Oatmeal and savory snacks. 
step into Czech candy store. This is, what it says. Okay. this is sour also though. On these sour things, I'm taking I'm one for the, the team one. all the time. <laughs> They're really cute, like really neat looking though. They're not too sour. Mine's kind of fruity only. You know what the texture reminds me of? These, those cinnamon apple strips that were like licorice, like someone just sliced them. That's what they look like too. It breaks apart funny in your mouth when you chew it. Like little slices of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the inside comes out. It's I kind of like, like that actually. Like a that. band of licorice. It wasn't bad actually. Mm -hmm. If you do get one of these boxes and you happen to have children, they did throw a little fun bonus in here. And that is a build your own castle puzzle. That looks like it could be a lot of fun, actually. I don't know if it's 3D or... Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, that looks like it's doable, too. I might be building that. A castle for my princess, who, by the way, is celebrating her birthday this week. So you get your own little castle. <laughs> oh, thanks. My own birthday present. <clears throat> All right, we have one thing left. It's a raspberry candy. It looks like it's gonna be a hard candy. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, these are odd looking. They look like... Yeah, it has a texture like those cheap breath mints that you used to get like from the veterans of foreign wars or something oh. you put a quarter at the oh, yeah. like uh -huh. at the chinese restaurant um, you know chalky yeah, real chalky mm -hmm. disintegrate almost immediately mm -hmm. in your they're mouth. not a hard candy they're pretty tasty mm -hmm. though raspberry flavored yeah mm -hmm. that's good well okay. what would you say your top two one savory one sweet top, top <clears> one of <throat> each I gotta look at them a little bit. I, I honestly think I really like these um, ketchup ghosts, which is surprising, but they're not ketchupy to me. They're no. more like a um, tomato a sauce. Tomato sauce, yeah. So I think that, and plus it's fall and they're bats and they're super cute. So, or ghosts and bats. But anyway, that's probably my favorite savory. What's yours? My favorite savory was those garlic chips. Oh, here they are. These garlic chips. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, those are good garlic potato chips. I guess I'll start with sweet. My okay. favorite sweet was the combination that tasted like the Mounds bar. The, the candy bar? The It was a cookie. Or cookie, yeah, sorry, cookie. That was this one. It was like oatmeal, kind yeah. of coconut, and... The coconut wasn't overwhelming, but it all tasted, all together tasted like a Mounds bar to me. I think this, um, this thing that tasted like the, um, apple, uh, strudel. strudel. Yeah, I think that was my favorite sweet one. Um, overall, I love the packaging. I think it was all of this was super, just super cute and fun. I did like these happy faces too. They were good. And there were there wasn't a single snack I had ever heard of. No, you nothing know. I've heard of. And I feel like a lot of these um, we might eat. You yeah. know what I mean? Nothing was off-putting. I didn't think. Did right. Because mm -hmm. every once in a while, there's one that just like sits on our counter for like a, until it's like the old. chocolate cheese cracker of. Oh yeah. What was that Indonesia? I, don't know. I didn't uh, make it very long. Yeah. Or it made it too long. Yeah. The, these raspberry mints are quite good too. Mm -hmm. I could see those. Anyway, this was fun. Universal Yums. Check it out. Universalyums.com. We do hope you'll get a box <clears> for yourself and. Please stay with us. We appreciate your engagement. We love your comments, good and bad. They help us get better. And we'll see you the next time. Have Thanks a great day. Thanks for watching. Day.